Hey guys, what's up? My name is Joey Kidney and welcome to my basement. I've never really taken you down here. It's mostly because it smells like dill pickle chips and dead people. So I'm an old guy now. I mean, I'm 19 years old. I live with my parents. Okay, that's not where I was going with this. So I want to talk about growing up. As a child, I was very silly. I'm a man now. I own a watch and I'm more responsible. Gosh, it sounded like a lie. So growing up, I was a very silly child, but now that I'm a man, I'm a lot more responsible. And I even go out and buy my own groceries. I shop by myself. I'm a man. I mean, I know how to cook now. I know how to make meals for myself so I can feed myself and not rely on my mother or frozen meals. I mean, they're still great. I know how to pay my bills and taxes now and handle all the stress with no problem at all. I owe money now? No, this, no, no. Don't <laughs> You think I don't know what you're doing? <laughs> you think I have money? I don't have any money! <sighs> and don't even get me started about talking about responsibility it takes to own a pet and take care of him because I had that down pack. You don't even have to worry about that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay. Uh, awesome. Being yeah. older, it's easy. I'm not childish anymore. I know how to dress. I know how to match stuff. Joey, those don't match. What do you mean these don't match? You're wearing shorts. D don't tell them I'm wearing shorts. Okay, well now they know. See what you did? You learn something new every day. And I guess I learned that my assistant is blind. Because, well, I'm wearing moccasins too. Come on. <laughs> they match my watch. What are you? Ow. You stupid? <laughs> You're fired. I hate you. Okay, enough with all that talk. Let's be serious for a second. Growing up is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, and I think it's the hardest thing anyone will ever go through. So growing up, I've always been this late bloomer who's always had trouble keeping up with people, and especially it's frustrating when your friends are off doing their own thing and you're still stuck here, waiting for your mind to change and not be a late bloomer and be okay with everything. That's me. But I don't know what I'd do if I was still stuck back in my old teenage body thinking what I thought then because then I wouldn't be here now, I wouldn't be making videos, and I wouldn't have overcome my fears. I do think growing up is the hardest thing you'll ever face, but I do think it's the best thing because if you could pass that, then you are the strongest person. I know I have a younger audience, so here's a little piece of advice. If you're going through school and you think that's the hardest thing, don't. School is school. You'll get through it. Friends are friends. They leave, they come, they go, they do all that stuff. It's complicated. Worry about yourself. Make yourself happy. Make your mom happy, okay? I'm not gonna say, you make your mom happy. You make your dad happy too. You make your whole family happy. Family comes first. What I'm trying to say is this. There will be the pain, there will be the suffering, there will be the anxiety attacks, but you're gonna get through it. And I'm gonna be here, you can watch these videos, and this is what they're for. And there's millions and millions of other people who have to do the exact same thing as you, and that's why I think you, yourself, can do it. I know if you're here right now, why shouldn't you be here tomorrow? Siri, what's the weather tomorrow? All right, Down that's, stop, stop, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. It's a nice shiny day tomorrow. Yeah. The last thing I want to say is this. If you're going through a rough time, if you're having trouble with everything changing and everything switching up, I just want you to know that if you stick around, it'll be the best decision of your life. So I want you guys to stay you. I want you to stay beautiful. I want you to stay strong. And I want to see you tomorrow. And I want to see you the next day. And I want to see you in 30 years. And, um, well, I'll see you then. Bye guys, thank you very much for watching.